Hello, friends. A few weeks ago, I lost a good friend to COVID-19. And I'm sure many of you have also lost friends or family. And certainly, if not, you know somebody who has. In such times, often we ask ourselves, how can I be of help to somebody who is grieving? Or what do I do if I'm in grief myself? Well, certainly we can pray and send blessings, but I found one of the best ways we can help others is to simply be a spiritual friend. And what is a friend? It's someone who is supportive, but also someone who is lovingly useful. So if you know someone who is grieving, be there for them. Physically, if you can, but certainly emotionally. Be accessible, be available listen and support. Your mere presence, whether in person or remotely, to offer love, hope, comfort is perhaps the best thing that you can do. Maybe it's the only thing you can do. Let me share a few additional thoughts to keep in mind when comforting yourself or comforting others. Don't deny grief. Don't suppress it. It's a natural stage we pass through in order to ultimately heal. When you are suffering, do something positive for others. In other words, engage in service, share, and especially if your grief persists unduly long. This is not suppression, but it's a redirection of our energy away from ourselves and our own concerns toward others, and it helps us overcome that grief more quickly. Very importantly, Remember those who have passed in their highest aspect. In other words, according to the highest octave that you can. This is a form of blessing. And if you remember others in this way, you will actually help yourself and overcome the possibility of future regrets. And finally, remember, love is the bond that will draw all of us back together. That magnetism of love ensures that all of those who are in that circle of our love will ultimately be joined together once again in future lifetimes. As Krishna said to Arjuna, nothing really ever dies. It merely changes. The spirit moves on from this realm into another realm into freedom and continues its journey to ultimate freedom. The path, though those who have passed, they don't want us to be sad. That's not their wish for us. They want our love. They want our blessings. They want our joy. And let's give that to them in return at this time of their passing. Joy to all of you.